Hello everyone, my name is Angel Wolf, and in this series I'm going to teach you how to update your Thief Gold installation to work with the um, new Thief Enhancement Packs, the Thief Gold HD Texture Mod, uh, the Open AL, uh, Thief 1 and 2 Sound Effect Enhancements, and the Thief Fix update to the new Dark Engine. So, um, the new Dark Engine basically is a port of the source code to the Dark Engine, which was found in a bag by a uh, Dreamcast enthusiast who ordered a dev kit, and it turned out that it had the source code to Thief 2 and System Shock 2, and that was a couple of years ago, so that source code was then turned around and updated to play on more modern systems, and the result of that is T-Fix. For Thief Gold, you have to download this program, T-Fix, which can be found at this website here. I'm going to leave the uh, instructions for, I mean, the, the links to these websites at the bottom of this video. So you get T-Fix 1.18G, and that's going to give you the new Dark Engine, and it also comes with a bunch of uh, compatibility, not compatibility, um, enhancements that you can install. And then we want to get OpenAL, which you can get from this website. You download that. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, activate the EAX features that were available in Thief on a computer that does not have a Creative Labs uh, audio card. So you can actually play the game with the enhanced sound effects to make things like reverberation and echo uh, dependent on the room you're in, how big the room is, and what the walls are made of. So it's a pretty cool feature, and it's recommended when you play the game with headphones on, like I do. Alright, and there's also the Thief 1 and 2 Sound Enhancement Pack, which can be get, get here. Uh, you can get it from through the looking glass on this page here. It's right there. And the Thief Enhancement Pack version 2 is available on this website and that is uh, that's different from the enhancement pack one which comes with the t-fix uh, when you install the t-fix you have the option to install the enhancement pack one and the enhancement pack two when it downloads it's basically just a CRF file and I'm going to explain that in the uh, actual installation part of this video so finally, we have the Thief Gold HD Texture Mod, which can be found at ModDB. And it just came out this past December. You can get it from downloads on the ModDB website. You have to get uh, version 0.9.1 full installer. And then once you're done installing that, you install the 0.9.2 patch installer. So um, I'm going to stop the video now and download those, and I'll be back when they're ready to go. So I suggest you do the same. Okay, so now I have my files downloaded, and I'm ready to install. So tfix is the first thing I install. And tfix is neat in that it doesn't need to be um, uninstalled if you don't want these extra enhancements. I'll show you that in a second when it loads up. Okay. And it sets up the T-Fixer. This, what, what this new Dark Engine basically does is it allows you to play the game on modern systems. It enhances the game with anti-aliasing effects and bloom effects. And it just basically makes the game run a lot nicer on widescreen monitors. So this is the Choose Components part. And this is where you can add all of these different things. You got Skies, Water, an Enhancement Pack, Orgy's Texture Pack, and Daemonite's Meshes. And any of these can be turned on or off by just clicking. And the beautiful thing about this program is if you decide you want something gone, you can reload the program, reload T-Fix again, and then just turn it off, and reinstall, and it'll delete that component. So if anything glitches your game up and you want to remove it, you just run T-Fix again, and install it. So I'm going to install with everything installed and we got to set it to our thief directory which is in mine it's thief g and there it goes games thief g and I'll show you what happens after it's done. Alright and now that it's finished we click finish 
All right, so T fix is in. We have new dark installed and a bunch of enhancements already ready to go. And the next thing we want to do is install OpenAL. So that comes in a zip file. And within that zip file is an executable. Run that executable and it'll install OpenAL. Just let it install and installation complete. And I'll show you how to turn that on when we get into the game itself. So that's installed. We have the sound effect enhancement pack, which you double click on. And this is by Child of Karas, and he basically went back through the sounds in the game itself and enhanced the sound effects. So hopefully it should be a lot clearer. And we want to go to our Thief G, I, E, F, good. Okay, and let that install. And at one point during the installation, it's going to change to a command box with uh, an archive being processed, that's fine. Again, just let it do its thing. It's not going to bother you. It's going to make the game better. And when that completes, you're going to see this. So you press any key to continue. And finally, oh, no, not finally. The Enhancement Pack Volume 2 is right here in the CRF uh, file right here. So you just take that file and you drop it right into your directory. Boom. And that's installed. And then finally, we got the Thief Gold HD mod. We start with the 9.1. And that looks like this. From here you click Next and you point it to your Thief Gold directory. It doesn't, for some reason, get this set up properly, but you have to type it in manually. And there it goes. Alright, so when that completes, it'll look like this. And you hit Close. And then finally you install the 9.2 patch on top of the 9.1 this one shouldn't take that long so I may just keep the camera rolling here we go next and again I gotta tell it where my game is and install All right, and with that one finished, we have completed the installation. And now the next thing you'd probably want to do is defrag that directory. And for defragging, the best program to use in this case is OSLogix Disk Defrag. I'll leave a link to that as well. Um, you can install that program and it will help you out considerably when you're playing games. And when you run that program, you want to go to Action, Advanced, Defrag Folder. And then we're just going to point it to our Games Thief G directory. And it defrags all the files in that folder that we just added, which you just added a gigabyte's worth of files. So chances are it's going to push them in the wrong places. And in my case, as you can see, of over a thousand files are are. are fragmented. So it'll go through and it'll defragment those. So I will come back when that finishes. So our fragmentation is defragmentation is completed. So we close that up and we've got a couple more little things to do. At this point you go into your thief G directory and if you scroll down you're gonna find 
that you have the water mod tool and the new dark settings as shortcuts in the main thief g directory so you go on the water mod tool first and this tool is going to allow you to install a water texture there are five different ones each one with a different video clip that shows you what it looks like um, you're free to play around with that at your convenience i like type one so i'm just going to install it and it's going to open this command window process and finish up with that and that's done so we close that up and then finally we got the new dark graphical settings and this is going to allow you to change a lot of things about your thief game you have anti-aliasing you have post-processing and if you want to look at the different post-processing settings you have these three options here which open up directories with uh, pictures for you to view like you choose this one and it brings you to a directory here and you can thumbnail through or you can view the different images and see what effect that shader has on the overall look of the game so um, right now I'm gonna leave post-processing off you can change this around based on your system based on you know the power your system has uh, the post-processing does uh, kill uh, performance so it totally depends on your system and so does anti-aliasing basically if you know about uh, all that stuff you pretty much know how to play with this tool otherwise you pretty much can leave it alone and that's pretty much it for all the external stuff and next I'm going to show you the in-game settings which is how to turn on widescreen mode and how to uh, turn on the sound on OpenAI. So I'll talk to you in the game.